Hi, I'm Christina. Welcome back to Yoga with Christina, Kriska Yoga. Today, I'll be talking about AI versus human yoga instructors. If you haven't seen it, the introduction to the series, Chat GPT for Yoga Teachers, uploaded that a couple of days ago. So definitely check that out first before watching this video. So today I'm going to be discussing the pros and the cons of AI language models such as Chat GPT using that and the pros and the cons of a human yoga instructor. So we're going to be going through all the points We'll start out by acknowledging the value of human yoga instructors. I might be a little biased because I am a human yoga instructor who's gone through 500 plus hours of training with an accredited, established yoga institution by experienced, knowledgeable teachers. Human yoga instructors bring physical touch. They bring empathy, emotion, experience, life experience, obviously hands-on adjustments and obviously humans have a much deeper understanding of human needs than a computer ever could. On the other hand, chat GPT, an artificial intelligent human-like language model, groundbreaking technology is actually creeping its way into the yoga world at the moment. Available 24-7. It doesn't get tired. It is a robot. It's adaptable to all different styles of yoga, knowledgeable about literally every single thing about yoga. Knows all the eight limbs of yoga, all the ph philosophical um, background knowledge, history. It can provide constant guidance because it is on 24-7. So yes, now let's get into the pros and the cons of both. The pros for a human yoga instructor, no matter how advanced AI technology gets, it'll still be a robot. You can't replace physical touch. Now this doesn't really apply to online yoga instruction, although it kind of does because if an online yoga instructor is on camera, I'm still a human being. I'm still giving you my humanness through the camera. Humans can offer emotional support, foster a sense of community, adapt teachings in live real time, and bring that life experience, that wealth of knowledge into their classes. Now, pros for ChatGPT. It offers personalized instruction on the spot, no matter what time of day it is. It makes yoga accessible to a wide range of people. It's available anytime, anywhere, can adapt to any schedule. It's great for self-practice for beginners, for anyone who wants to learn more about yoga, literally on the spot. Okay, the cons. The cons of a human yoga instructor. Obviously, humans have limitations. We get tired. We cannot adapt to any schedule. We have to adapt to our own schedule. We have things like lives and, and other things to attend to, and we cannot be available 24-7. We have emotional needs. Sometimes we're having a bad day. We can't be Mr. or Miss Positivity in yoga class all the time. Yoga teachers are expensive because we pay a lot for our yoga teacher training. If you're making it your job as a yoga teacher, you need to get paid for that service. So yes, yoga teachers are expensive. And I guess that is a con for the student. And some people might not vibe or like your yoga teaching style. Um, everyone's teaching style is different, so that might not align with each and every student, yeah, whereas the robot chat GPT is more straightforward and it doesn't really have a teaching style. It's just do this, do that, do this, do that. That leads me into the cons of chat GPT as a yoga instructor. It does not replace physical touch or human connection. It cannot replace the energy and the overall aura of a yoga studio or a yoga atmosphere. And there's also inaccuracies, which is why it needs to be fact checked, fact checked by a human. You can't just put out the chat GPT information as fact. You have to actually, as a human being, yoga instructor who knows about yoga, look at it, read through what it's generated and check whether or not it is correct. So who knows where this AI technology is going to get to at some point. Um, I can't even imagine a world where I'm taking a yoga class to that 
awful TikTok voice. Bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest and bow your head to your fingertips. That's a no for me. However, to combat the idea or notion that we as physical human yoga instructors might eventually one day be replaced by artificial intelligence, such as chat GPT. To combat that, I say if you can't beat them, join them, use it as a tool. So as of now, it is a fantastic tool to help you achieve more than we could even imagine with our human limitations. Help more people get more done more efficiently, faster. It just it is basically your assistant, how I'm looking at it. And I think that's a great way to use it. As yoga instructors, it's difficult to keep up with the class schedules and the online demands that we need for a social media presence. So having that as your assistant is invaluable. I think it's really exciting to see where this technology will take us, how it will keep evolving, and what's going to happen with our industry in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget, I mentioned in the last video, I created a cheat sheet for yoga teachers, chat GPT for yoga teachers. It basically shares 10 ways that you can use chat GPT to assist you with your yoga teaching to help your students and to help give yourself a unique edge. So download that. The link is in the description and the cards of this video. In the next video on this topic, I'll be talking about how to use chat GPT to personalize your yoga instruction for your students. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to download your free cheat sheet in the description box and I will see you next time.